Hey all, it's uh, Mountain Mark again. Just thought I'd uh, show you something else in the woods here. Um, we're in some, some kind of thick woods here. A lot of underbrush with some larger trees spattered in between. Um, and uh, I found my first black trumpets of the year, so I thought I would um, show you what those look like. Um, tell you a little bit about where to find them. Um, so as you can see here, we have beech trees, it's a beech leaf, um, and if you know that bark, you know that's an oak. So typically, uh, beech and oak is, is where you'd be looking for these guys, and, um, you kind of have to walk with your head down to the ground if you're expecting to see them, because they're not going to jump right out at you. Um, See. See, there's one right there. See that? That's a black trumpet right there. Um, two of them. So they hide pretty easily right in the undergrowth. You know, and they'll get quite a bit bigger than that, and uh, or smaller. And uh, let me see if we can find some more over here. Wow, actually they're just about everywhere here. I can't step too easily without stepping on them. But let's get over here. I see a couple bigger ones and uh, see if we can get close to them. Okay, so they're all scattered along here. A lot of times you'll find them in uh, really wet areas um, and uh, in my area anyway always under uh, beech and oak so that's what you're looking for beech and oak forest and these are delicious mushroom and uh, so I, I've heard people complain that they make whatever you're cooking black that's fine with me they add great flavor and uh, the other thing is they dry really well, so a lot of times I'll save them um, and dehydrate them uh, for wintertime use, just because they dry up really quick and easy, and I don't use a lot of energy on my dehydrator. So that's about all I have to say about them. Good mushroom. I always look forward to this time of year. Take care. Bye.